In this video, I am going to show you how to use the average ifs function in Google Sheets. So the average ifs function is very similar to the average if function, which I've covered in a previous video, except there is one key difference. Average if only allows you to check one criteria. Average ifs allows multiple criteria. So basically what the function does is it will return an average for a range if data in that data set meets multiple criteria that you um, specify in the function. So this is the basic syntax here. Average ifs. The first argument is average range. So this is just the range that you want to average. Then the second range is criteria range 1 which is the range that you want to apply your criterion one to. And then the next argument is criterion one, which is the condition or test to check criteria range one for. And then you have um, optional arguments here of criteria range two and criterion two. So if you want to add additional ranges and criteria here, you can. So just to kind of show you how this works, I have this data here in my spreadsheet. What I have is these different products. I have product type, um, I have the price and the sales of the product, and I have the revenue. So what I want to do is I want to return the average revenue for products that meet two criteria. I want clothing products and I want products that are greater than five so those are going to be my two criteria and I'm going to do that with average ifs in one formula just to show you how to use it so equals average ifs now the first argument is my average range so since I'm interested in returning the average revenue I'm just going to put that as my range Then I'm going to do a comma so the next argument is my criteria range one. So this is the first range that I'm gonna apply my test to. So again, I wanna only return the average for clothing items. So my clothing um, data is in column B2 through B8. So that's gonna be my criteria range one. Now it is time for my criterion one. So again, I'm only returning revenue if the product type is equal to clothing. So inside quotation marks, clothing. So if you're doing text, it has to be inside quotation marks. If you're just doing a numeric value, you don't need quotation marks. So that will take care of that column. Next, I'm adding an additional criteria range so we're doing criteria range two and I'm only returning products with sales greater than five so as my criteria range two I'm gonna put in the range that contains my sales data now it's time to apply my test to this range so my criterion two which is greater than five so if you're doing a comparison operator you also want to put it inside quotation marks so greater than five and then i'll just put in my closing parentheses and the average revenue for clothing products that sold greater than five is 149.92 so let's take a look at this um, just to see how this works so these are my clothing items let's see which one sold greater than five so this sold greater than five this sold greater than five so really there's only two revenues that get calculated in my value there's this one and this one and so if I were to average it it would be divided by two and you can see that they match so that's basically what this formula is doing it's going is this clothing yes is it greater than five? Yes, yes, okay. These two values are used to return the average. So that's what average ifs does. It is a very useful function um, to get this kind of data. Normally you'd have to do multiple steps, something like this, 
but you can apply multiple criteria to your data to quickly filter and only return the average for things that meet your criteria. So I hope you can see how this is useful. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.